For some people, this is just trash. But for Giuseppe Gimilaro, old bicycle tires are a valuable commodity. After all, he makes his living from them. He turns tires into belts. He gave the first one to a friend for Christmas. Back then, he was still living in Italy. And in 2010, I moved to Germany. And I tried to work to find a job like as bike mechanic here in a shop. But I couldn't because I, I didn't have an house building. And I was not like my German was not great at that time. And, um, and then many friends say me, just keep going with the tire belts. And I, and I did. In the past, each belt was unique. Nowadays, Giuseppe also creates small production runs. Competition is still fierce. His belts are already being copied in China and Australia. Today, the entrepreneur can make up to 30 belts a day with special tools he designed himself to ensure quality standards. The belts have become a brand item, thanks in part to help from Upcycling Deluxe. Within five years, the Berlin startup has become the biggest online shop for upcycled products in Europe. Giuseppe's tire belts are popular, and that's good for everyone. During the festive season, the company's employees are busy preparing wares to be sold to customers throughout Germany. The online shop also supplies customers around the world. In the final run-up to Christmas, things really go mad because people are busy buying last-minute presents. It's not always easy to keep an overview of the 2,000 or so items on offer and ensure that all the ordered goods arrive on time. Many products have a long way to go just to get to the company's warehouse in Berlin. These bags were made by a women's cooperative in Manila. The lamps were made from old oil drums and come from Senegal. They're by Sally Wayne. I met her at a trade fair and immediately fell in love with the lamps. She's from Senegal herself and works with a project there. She designs the lamps, and since I became one of her customers, they've been going like hotcakes. But it's not easy getting products from emerging and developing countries certified so that they can be sold throughout the world. Upcycling Deluxe also designs its own products like these hats manufactured from old coffee sacks and fabric remnants in Poland. They're looking to expand their own design range. Here the challenge is creating brand identity. There's big demand for the products at the moment and we're currently in the process of setting up an international distribution network and we need our own brand for that. Business to business sales are becoming increasingly important for the fledgling company. Thanks to growing environmental awareness, products like their coffee-to-go hats are being ordered by specialist shops throughout the world. Business is booming. 2016 has been their best year ever. Once the Christmas hustle and bustle is over, it'll be time for Upcycling Deluxe to head to Paris for Fashion Week.